This is Bloomingburg, a small village in upstate New York. Don't be seduced by the peaceful appearance. Tensions are high over a big residential development that is being marketed to members of a large Hasidic community. The Jewish developer accuses those opposed to the project of anti-Semitism. Meanwhile, his critics accuse him of lacking transparency. Bloomingburg was a struggling community. Mr. Lamb has come into town uh, a few years ago. He started buying up properties. Shalom Lam is building 396 family townhouses in a village with only 400 people. This is a large-scale development. They're overnight doubling the population, which is a little scary. I moved here from Manhattan to live in a rural community, and that in a few short years I'm going to be ending up in a cityscape is deeply disturbing to me. I love driving down Winterton Road. The old farmhouses, the fields getting cut in the summertime. The new development would totally change the way of life in Blumenberg. Traffic, congestion, number of people. If we have our way, it'll be vibrant. It'll have a lot of job creation. It'll have a lot of retail opportunities. But many residents of Blumenberg don't trust Mr. Lamb. Originally, it was presented as a 125 unit, over 55 housing with a golf course and a restaurant and a community center. And whatever has been talked about seems something else is being delivered. I think it's that distrust of what's going on. Let's start with allegation number one. This was supposed to be a 125 unit golf course community. There is not a single document that has ever been submitted to any organization that says anything about that. Mr. Lamb says the activist opposition is based on anti-Semitism. The allegation is that we've not been forthcoming. Like all developments, you start out with a concept and then you end up with something else. The allegation, of course, is if you're a conspiracy theorist and you think that the Jews control things and are pulling puppet strings, it's basic anti-Semitism. Right outside of our door, they've put up a 30-foot wooden cross. They're taking a symbol of Christian love, and they're using that as a weapon of hatred. The forward spoke to Kathy Denzison, who put the cross up on her land as a Christmas decoration. But when she heard that Mr. Lem was buying the village Methodist church, she decided to leave the cross up as a form of protest. Many members of the Satmar Hasidic community in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, are interested in moving to the Bloomingbrook development. If you tell me that the Satmar community in Williamsburg is being priced out and that therefore this is a perfect fit, I'm thrilled. Some locals worry how the tight-knit and strictly kosher community would change the town. It'll probably hurt my business. My business in the wintertime is supported by the locals. If we don't have locals, we don't have a business. Bloomingburg belongs to the town of Memacating, but the village has a separate government, which has received a lot of criticism. I have very little problems with Shalom Lamb. I blame the system. I blame the village government. The board members sit up there, they would not answer questions. There is complete disregard for laws. Open meeting laws are routinely ignored. And it seems as if there was no end in sight to the real estate tensions in the area. I intend to be here for a long, 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 long time, so I care very deeply how that dialogue continues.